Hi there, everybody. Yeah, we are just down the street from that Baptist church in Sutherland Springs. I'm going to step out of the way and show you exactly where we're at. Behind me here uh, in the distance, you can see a yellow tent. That is where the FBI and other law enforcement have set up the perimeter uh, for this crime scene. The church is just behind that. In front of that yellow tent, you can see a black truck there in the distance, uh, and you might be able to see the tail end of a red car. Uh, now, that is where Stephen Williford, the man that we spoke with was able to get to and exchange gunfire with the shooter with the gunman inside that was inside of that church uh, and eventually help in stopping him. Now for me, this is a very personal story. Uh, I know Mr. Williford from growing up and he says that his he, he just is thinking of the community in all of this. And tonight he took us exclusively there to the crime scene where he exchanged gunfire. My house is down on the corner over, over there, right past that sign. I could hear the, the shots and pop, 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 pop. But from, you you can't even really see him yet. You're rounding your corner up here to, to get closer to see what's going on. Barefooted. <laughs> Baref barefoot, what's, in that moment, what's going through your mind before you can even really do anything? All I'm thinking is I've got to get there. I've got to, I've got to stop what's happening. I've got to get there. That's the truck I was standing behind. And then when he saw me, of course, he reacted to me. And I guess I, I, I don't think he expected to see um, any resistance. Uh, he saw me, and we exchanged gunfire. And that's where that bullet hole from right up there came. That's from him. You know, like a, this, this car has a bullet hole in the window. He was shooting at me, and there's one in the house, too. One in the house over here. Could you see people? No, I did not at this point. At this point, I did not. I, all I, all, for all I Your knew, focus and, was on him. and and he shot across the street into these neighbors' homes that are here. I saw his side, and that's what I shot for. I don't know that's where I hit him, but I knew that that would be where that tactical gear did not cover. And. And then when he got in, he shot twice more through the window. So he's in the car right now. It's, he's in the car, and then he out. and then he pulled up and he turned down there, and I made one last shot at him as he was driving off. Driving and off. where was Johnny in all of this? He was at see that stop sign right over Just there. Right. He was parked right there through the whole thing. This is your community. Uh, this, this is, is this your, is my town. This is your home. You this is my ready home. To protect it. This is my home. I was scared, like you can't even imagine. I was scared. Yeah. But I knew something had to happen because I love those people there. I know I love the people that are in there, and I, and I still I I still don't know who lost their lives, but I'm sure that some of them are my friends. <coughs> yeah. I'm sure some of them are my friends. Now we were able to get to that portion of the crime scene thanks to some of the property owners that are just across the street from the church and they say that in that moment they were thankful even scared for Mr. Williford to be able to go out there uh, showing that bravery and be able to uh, help and assist in stopping that gunman. Now Mr. Williford says that he does not consider himself a hero at all. Right now he is just asking everyone around the world and the country for prayer for this small community. We're live tonight in Sutherland Springs, Texas. I'm Joshua Cole, 4029 News.